hidden in the hills of Northern California, a few miles south of San Francisco, lies Woodside, one of the wealthiest towns in the United States. It is home to a host of celebrities, including a Western lowland gorilla named Coco, whose life challenges what it is that makes humans unique. Over 40 years ago, Penny Patterson set out to discover if humans and gorillas could ever communicate. Everyone, when they're a child, has that Dr. Doolittle moment where they think, you know, if only we could talk to animals. And here was a chance. What began as a PhD to teach sign language to Coco turned into a lifelong relationship. It seemed like Penny was in love with Coco in the way in which a mother might be in love with a daughter. News about Coco made headlines across the world. Coco, who's a particularly intelligent gorilla... Coco is the subject of the longest language. ongoing ape language... But study. throughout their time together, Penny has had to fight to keep Coco. The reality that it really would end just didn't enter our minds. Now, nearly half a century since the project began, the line between humans and apes is being redrawn. A court in Argentina has ruled that an orangutan can be granted some of the legal rights enjoyed by humans. With over 2,000 hours of footage, collected over 44 years, does Project Coco finally prove that animals can communicate their thoughts and feelings with humans? Or are there some things that will always separate us from our closest relatives? <laughs>